Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. <laughs> That's unique. I want to point out that this will contain spoilers only up until the end of the third mission. Let's fucking begin. I'll start off by saying the AI is about as complicated as a piece of paper. They flail around to predetermined positions waving their arms in the air, screaming shoot me. Not really, but it feels like you're a camera operator in a movie film. Controls are about what you'd expect. Except for the fact, I've been playing that much Destiny over the past month, I randomly toss a grenade in the hopes to melee an enemy. What I mean by that is I forgot they had melee mapped to the R3 and not the R1. I'm quoting PS4 controls here. On a side note, I played this game with a PS4 controller connected to my PC. Weapons are... blah. Nothing really special, to be honest. The AK-47 received some upgrades over the years. Game years, that is. Nothing I used stood out, and they were about as creative as today's carpet floors. There are some customization options, but again, you're limited to chewing your nails or scratching an itch. Really sad. I think this brand is wore out. Every year we get another COD, COD. Change the cycle, guys. So far the game is washed out. Now, how about graphics? What you're seeing is advanced warfare. Atlas has the single largest standing military in the world, but we answer to no country. Unlike the government, we don't keep secrets of our capabilities. We don't sell policy, we sell power. We are 60 frames per second. Praise the good lord it ran on my system at 60. I was almost able to max everything out, except for a few things. Oh, let's check in on graphic options. Something I haven't did in, eh, must have been a couple years now. through it, there are all kinds of fucking things I've never seen before. I mean, what the Jesus is S-A-X-X? -X? Fuck! Didn't they just release F-A-X, F-X-A-A -A or whatever the fuck? Oh, bless my Chinese pinky toe. What the fuck does cash spot shadow maps mean? It says it will reduce frame rate, so it must be good, right? Turning it on. Subsurface scattering. Huh. Not a fucking clue. I feel like the more options I turn on, my computer is going to pop out legs and transform one of them transformers and then ask me to save the world from the Decepticons. All that being said, I'm bloody rusty at this PC stuff. PS4 got me spoiled. With everything set the way you see here, during gameplay the game sort of stutters from time to time. It's really strange and no matter what graphic options I select, it doesn't fix my issues. So I play on. Game does look nice. One thing I did notice is they didn't add lens flares to lights. Well, praise be to Jeebus. I noticed game devs and good on you. It does look next generation, but at 60 gigabyte for the install, by Jesus, it should look next gen. Textures are great, nothing extra. You can tell it was rushed. There aren't enough imperfections in the environment, which leads me to believe the game was rushed to meet its two year development cycle. Triarch one year, and Infinity Ward the next, hence two years. The cutscenes at launch are disastrous as they stutter and skip no matter what system you run it on. Which brings me to my next topic, story. 
George Lucas and Shakespeare are far better writers than the guys who come up with this shit. Goes to show paying for a big name actor don't make a game better. It's a subpar story which barely draws you into it. It's like walk a predefined path, enter a choppy cut screen, define path again, more choppy cut screens. Blah! I really don't want to ruin it for you people who are looking forward to this game, but don't buy it based on its story. It's okay-ish at its best. Now, on to the sound. This is the only department that did a good job. It's like they tossed out the generic sounds of weapons and created their own from scratch. Good job, it's just too bad the rest of the guys sat back and ate pizza pockets while creating the rest of the game. Music comes out of your speakers when you turn the volume up, which is always a positive. This game is by no means unique. It's like the tires on a car, they are round. They make things roll. Sure, they added jetpacks and robotic shit, but this has all been done before. Fuck, just off the top of my head, jetpacks were used in a game called Commander Keen. That was like way back in 92 or some shit. And robotic armor from the movie Alien. Well, okay, that's not a game, but that's one that came to mind. If you're waiting for a great new game with a story to boot, look up in the corner of your ceiling. That spider making a web is more entertaining. I lost interest in this game not far into it, as it was repetitive, boring, and blah. I'd rather watch Captain Kirk fight a Gorn all day on repeat. Search that on YouTube if you're bored. Anyways, I think that clues up this brief review. Trust me, I've said all you need to know. This is DTR. Communicate later. Ah.